Welcome to the Tanner T video series, how to use your batting tee like a pro. Now, a common problem I see is hitters work really hard on their swing and practice, but once the game begins, they revert back to old habits. Now, the problem is we practice different than we play, which is not a bad thing, but in practice, we work on mechanics, we're controlling the intensity, we're controlling the atmosphere, working on our swing. In the games, we're more focused about competing. So in this video, I have two keys that are gonna help bridge that gap from practice to games. So when you are in that box, you can trust that all the things that you've been working on in practice is gonna show up and you just have to worry about competing against that pitcher. So the first key is placing the ball on the tee with purpose. Now, every time we hit off the tee, I don't want you to just hit the ball. We should be able to do that at this point, right? The ball's sitting on the tee, it's not moving. That's not what we're trying to do. Our goal should be to hit a small section of the baseball that's going to put us in a good hitting position that will allow us to not have to think about the mechanical aspects of the swing. All right, so let me simplify this a little bit. Personally, I like to place the ball so the seams are running north and south. You can see that right here. My goal here is to try to hit this inside seam. Now you've most likely heard the term stay inside the baseball. That's what we are doing here. So why do we want to stay inside the baseball? What benefits do we get from hitting this inside seam with the way we place the ball on the tee? So there's four things. First one, when I get in this position, I'm trying to hit this inside part. It's going to keep me close. You notice this back elbow is going to be up against my back hip. My barrel is going to be close to my back shoulder. And from this position, I'm connected. Connected is the strongest position I can be with my upper body. From there, I have more power, I have more bat speed. Really good thing, it's a necessity when it comes to hitting. Number two, from this connection, I have a short swing to the baseball. Why do we want a short swing to the baseball? First off, we're not gonna have to cheat to get to velocity. We can have a later swing decision on those nasty breaking balls. Those are very important. Number three, the best hitters work from the inside out. So if I'm hitting a pitch away, I work out, middle, right here, a pitch in, I'm staying on this line, and now I'm backspinning a ball to the pull side, not hooking it. And finally, the last key is when we are working to hit the inside seam, it's gonna keep our barrel working in the zone, working through the path of the pitch longer. Now, the longer our barrel can stay in that hitting zone, on plane with the pitch, the better opportunity we have to hit the ball and the less perfect our timing has to be. So, what we do is we just get up here, I'm focusing on this inside seam, I'm gonna hit it. Now, what happens if we don't hit that inside seam, right? We hit the outside seam. In a game, it's gonna be a ground ball to short, it's gonna be a ground ball to third. Maybe it's a pitch that you feel like you can handle and you hook that ball foul. You can pay attention, be a good self-evaluator and realize if you're hitting this outside seam. So focusing on a smaller section of the baseball is going to put you in a good mechanical hitting position without you having to overthink. So our second key for making it more game-like is to focus on the pitcher. Now, when I first started hitting off a tee, I would get in this position and I would just focus on the ball the whole time. What I wanna do is I want to get both eyes out on the pitcher, make sure I'm looking in that direction. Once I'm ready, now I track the ball back to home plate and then I take my swing. I know that seems like a small adjustment, but we're training our eyes to look at that window out for the pitcher in front of us. We're bringing it back and then we're starting our swing makes it more game-like, gets our eyes and our head used to tracking a ball, even though I know we don't physically see the ball make contact with the barrel. All right, so now I got a cool little drill that you can do that's gonna incorporate both of those tips. Now, again, we're gonna place the ball on the tee the same way. We're gonna work on hitting this inside seam, but now I'm gonna, I can place targets on the net. So I'm gonna place a target. Right now I got an imaginary target up on the uh, opposite field side of the cage one right up the middle and one to the pull side. So just because I'm hitting the inside seam doesn't mean I, I can't pull the baseball. I still can, but now I'm taking a better path to the ball. That's what we're trying to accomplish. So I'm kind of picking out a target over here. I'm gonna place the tee accordingly. I'm hitting that inside seam right to my target. Now I'm gonna place it more towards the middle. Again, place the ball on the tee the same way. Both eyes on the pitcher, 
hitting that inside seam. And then finally, we're gonna pull the ball. And you can put a physical target up if you want. I don't have one right now, but put a physical target up right here. And we're gonna try to hit it, hit the inside seam. All right, so the two keys, remember, hit the inside seam, place the ball on the tee with purpose, look out at the pitcher with both eyes, track back to the ball, play target practice in the cage. Have some fun.